We're going to explain how to save a link as a file. This isn't about saving a link to a file, like adding a website address to a document, but rather downloading the content at that link, the web page, a video, a PDF, etc., and saving that content as a local file on your computer. There are a few different ways to do this, depending on what kind of content the link points to. One, saving a web page as an HTML file. This is the simplest method. Most browsers allow you to save a web page directly. Usually, you right click anywhere on the web page, select Save As or a similar option, choose a location on your computer, and select Web Page Complete or a similar option from the Save as Type menu. This saves the page's HTML code, images, and other assets as a single file or a folder of files. Two, downloading files directly. Some links point directly to downloadable files like PDFs, images, videos, or documents. These often have file extensions like .pdf, .jpg, .mp4, or .doc. Simply click the link. Your browser will usually ask you where to save the file, what to name it, and what to do if a file with the same name already exists. Three, using download managers. If you frequently download files, a dedicated download manager can help. These programs improve download speed, manage multiple downloads concurrently, and often resume interrupted downloads. Popular examples include JDownloader and Download Accelerator Plus. Copy the link and paste it into the download manager. It will handle the rest. Four, saving videos and audio. Saving videos and audio requires a bit more finesse. If the website allows it, right-clicking the video player might offer a save video as or download option. Otherwise, you may need a dedicated video downloader extension for your browser or a separate program. Many websites don't permit direct downloads requiring workarounds. Be cautious. Some downloaders may bundle unwanted software, so choose reputable options. Five, dealing with specific websites. Social media platforms, video streaming services, and other sites often have restrictions on downloading. You might need specialized tools or extensions to circumvent these limitations. Again, exercise caution. Always use trusted and reputable sources. Always respect copyright laws in terms of service. Six, checking file type. Before downloading, pay attention to the file extension in the URL. It helps you determine the type of file you are downloading and how to open it afterward. Understanding this beforehand helps avoid confusion. In short, saving a link as a file depends heavily on the link itself. For simple web pages and directly downloadable files, your browser's built-in functionality is sufficient. For videos, audio, and downloading from restricted sites, you'll likely need extra tools. Remember to always respect copyright and website terms of service.